Something extraordinary just took flight over Chengdu, China, a second prototype of the mysterious J-36 stealth jet, and it looks completely different from anything we've seen before. This isn't just a design tweak, it's a transformation. New 2D thrust vectoring exhausts, advanced divertless supersonic inlets, and a redesigned landing system reveal how far China's aerospace engineering has come. The second prototype of China's tailless J-36 stealth aircraft has stunned observers with a level of refinement that suggests much more than a simple upgrade. It's an evolution, one that reflects years of aerodynamic testing and re-engineering compressed into just a few months. The first J-36, seen in late 2024, featured deeply recessed exhausts integrated into the fuselage, a configuration similar to the American YF-23 concept. Those exhausts were ideal for reducing infrared and radar signatures, but they limited thrust control and maneuvering potential. Now, the new prototype features three sharply angular exhaust nozzles that resemble two-dimensional thrust vectoring units, similar to those found on the F-22 Raptor. This change indicates a deliberate shift toward improved stability and control authority, particularly critical for tailless Delta aircraft which are inherently unstable at low speeds and high angles of attack. The addition of thrust vectoring likely helps the J-36 maintain its balance and agility throughout the full flight envelope. The trade-off? Slightly higher radar visibility from the rear, but a dramatic performance improvement. It's a clever compromise that shows Chengdu Aircraft Corporation is learning quickly from both domestic and international design philosophies. Next comes the air intake overhaul. The earlier, carrot, shaped lower intakes have been replaced by divertless supersonic inlets, DSI, a hallmark of China's modern stealth engineering used on aircraft like the J-20. The DSI design improves supersonic airflow, reduces radar reflections, and eliminates the need for moving inlet ramps. These intakes now feature forward-swept lips, creating smoother airflow and reduced drag during HIMOC operations. Then there's the landing gear a small but telling clue to the jet scale. The old tandem twin-wheel system is gone, replaced by a side-by-side dual-wheel truck similar to those used on large, heavy aircraft. This not only improves ground stability, but also signals a significant increase in overall weight and internal capacity. That implies larger fuel tanks, internal weapon bays, or both. Taken together, the second prototype looks less like a concept model and more like a functional test platform. Every change, from the intakes to the gear, shows a clear intention to create a long-range, high-endurance stealth aircraft that can operate efficiently at altitude. The J-36's redesign is impressive, but its speed of evolution is what truly sets it apart. In just under a year, Chengdu Aircraft Corporation produced an entirely reworked prototype, something that typically takes other aerospace programs years. This rapid development hints at an iterative engineering process, a hallmark of modern aerospace innovation. Here's what's happening. Rather than waiting for a perfect prototype before testing, CAC appears to be building, flying, and refining in real time. The prototype provided aerodynamic and systems data, everything from fuel flow to heat distribution and engine integration. Once flight tests revealed performance characteristics and possible inefficiencies, those insights were directly incorporated into the second prototype. It's essentially a live feedback loop, and that's groundbreaking for a large, complex stealth aircraft. This fast-track methodology mirrors a digital twin development model, where engineers simulate thousands of potential flight scenarios virtually before ever cutting metal. When physical prototypes finally roll out, they already reflect those digital refinements. The result? Each new build is smarter, faster, and more efficient than the last. The changes between prototypes show the scope of data collection in play. Moving from recess to thrust vectoring exhausts isn't cosmetic. It requires recalculating airflow, temperature profiles, engine thrust alignment, and structural stress factors. Replacing intakes with DSIs means recalibrating internal duct geometry and radar cross-section models. And redesigning the landing gear impacts the jet's entire lower fuselage structure. Doing all this and demonstrates that CAC has not only strong computational capabilities, 
but also a highly agile manufacturing ecosystem. What this tells us is that China's aircraft development philosophy is now shifting away from long, conservative design cycles. Instead, it's embracing a software-driven, iterative approach. By producing multiple prototypes and testing variations quickly, they shorten timelines, reduce costs, and accelerate readiness for production. This approach also allows engineers to refine stealth coatings, composite structures, and flight control algorithms in parallel. While the J-36 is still far from an operational model, its pace of development reflects a clear intent to master sixth-generation design principles, agility, autonomy, efficiency, and network integration through hands-on experimentation. So, what does the J-36 actually represent? It's more than just another stealth jet. It could be the prototype of a new class of multi-role aircraft combining stealth, speed, and endurance. Judging by its size and configuration, the J-36 seems to sit between the J-20 stealth fighter. That positioning suggests a dual-purpose platform, capable of both long-range tactical missions and command and control operations. Experts note that the J-36's massive internal volume could allow it to carry large fuel reserves or advanced payloads like hypersonic missiles and reconnaissance systems. Its three-engine configuration supports high thrust output, ideal for maintaining performance at altitude or over long distances. Combined with the aerodynamic efficiency of its tailless delta wing design, this could give the aircraft the ability to cruise at near supersonic speeds for extended periods, a huge advantage in any high-end mission scenario. Another defining feature might be its networked role. With room for advanced sensors and potentially even two crew members, the J-36 could act as a mission node, coordinating drones or unmanned combat aerial vehicles in real time. This aligns with global trends toward manned-unmanned teaming, where a central aircraft manages a group of autonomous platforms that perform surveillance, targeting, or electronic countermeasure roles. If realized, the J-36 could mark a shift towards sixth-generation design philosophy, blending stealth and artificial intelligence to create adaptable, data-driven air systems. This would position China alongside major aviation programs in the US and Europe, pursuing similar capabilities. Strategically, the J-36's evolution shows how China's aerospace sector is maturing, focusing less on replicating foreign technology and more on innovating original designs. The balance between stealth and maneuverability in this jet reflects lessons learned from the J-20, the J-35, and even foreign aircraft like the F-22. The rapid changes from prototype 1 to 2 show that China is testing boundaries faster than expected. In short, the J-36 isn't just another stealth aircraft. It's a statement of intent. It demonstrates China's confidence in its engineering ecosystem and its push to develop highly autonomous, flexible aerial platforms that define the next era of flight. The second J-36 prototype isn't just an upgrade. It's proof that China's aerospace ambitions are accelerating faster than ever. From its radical redesign to its digital era development process, every detail reveals a glimpse of aviation's future. If these trends continue, the J-36 could redefine what next-generation flight truly means. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.